Hello, 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 and welcome. You're now tuned to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I am your host, Lady Scorpius. Today, I'm going to be reading for an air sign. I'm going to start off with, um, let's see, because I finished up my fire, my water, my earth. Um, I was going to record from Vegas, you guys, but I was just having a little bit too much fun, just relaxing and having some me time. And I didn't really have time to do a reading from Vegas. I was only there for two days. But it's crazy because when I went to Vegas, I actually, you guys, got a new tarot deck, which is called the Sacred Symbols deck. And this is my first time actually seeing this deck, but it was just drawing me in. And it was pretty affordable. It's about $35 for this deck. But this deck is powerful. And so I wanted to see. I wanted to use this deck today for you guys. For my air signs. And cleanse this deck out. And um, yeah. Just cleanse this deck. And use this for clarifications. When it comes to your reading for love. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to cleanse this deck. And we're going to be using this as a clarifying deck. And for love, I'm going to be using my Dorian Virtue deck. Actually, let me go ahead and get that because I forgot to get that. One second. Okay, I'm back. So, yes, you guys, I just wanted to touch bases with y'all, like, and just let you know what's been going on with me. Just got back from Vegas. Vegas is... Vegas was fun. You know, we all know that's the city of sin, but I have to be protected when I go out there. So I definitely bring on my crystals and I wear my necklace, my unk, with my spiritual quartz crystals so my ancestors can protect me while I'm out there. But I did have a good time. You know, I feel like um, as a Scorpio, if it's light or dark energy, it don't matter what dynamic I'm in, I always can like maneuver through it. So it doesn't really phase me to go in areas of darkness. Because I know I am the light and I bring it, you know. But yes, we're cleansing out these energies. I'm going to be using the Dorian Virtue deck for love. I'm going to be doing a three-card spread for love for my, uh, let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's do Aquarius. <laughs> three-card spread for Aquarius to see what's going on for the month of May 2018. Um, I'm going to try to make my readings quicker so you guys can start booking personal readings and taking advantage of that so you can get more personal, uh, personal lives with what's going on in your current love life. If you will need a personal reading, you can email me. I'll leave all that information in the description box below. Also, you may contact me on Instagram and we can go from there. So, got this burning. Let's get into it. So, the crystals that I'm working with today. Oh, yeah, also, did I buy, oh, I bought, like, what else did I buy from the spiritual store, you guys? I'll share that with you before, but I just got, like, a lot of nice information from the spiritual store. I bought some uh, meditation candles so I can meditate on success and um, love and, you know, just peace, prosperity. But I'll show you guys that in another video. But let's just get into it, so. Okay. Like upside down. So, universal creators, spiritual guys, ascended masters. What messages do you have for my? What messages do you have for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the month of May 2018? Asking you to give me messages out of love, light, and clarity for my Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the month of April to the, I mean, sorry, May <laughs> for the month of May 2018. Can you please give me messages out of love, light, and clarity so that my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rats, and Venus people may have clear answers on love and romance. What is the total energy of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rats, and Venus for the month of May 2018? I ask for you to give me three cards for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rats, and Venus for the month of 18. I ask for you to give me cards out love and light. For my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rats, and Venus for the month of May 2018. What message can you share with me? Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. You have two extra cards that popped out. This is in correlation with these cards, so I'll go ahead and just briefly explain those. But I will be using my clarifiers to see what's going on in her career. So let's get into it. So the first card you have is calling in your soulmate. Romantic feelings. And letting go of control issues. This could be the one... Career finances. Oh, wow. That was a third card. And getting to know each other. These cards popped out, too. So, congratulations, Aquarius. You got an extra bonus card. Well, three bonus cards. 
Um, I usually do three card spread, but if something pops out and the universe wants me to go with it, then I will. So let's get into it. So I feel like I feel like um for my Aquariuses, you guys have been searching for your prayers to be answered when it comes to love, when it comes to the things you want within a soulmate, a partner. I do feel like some of my Aquariuses, for my single Aquariuses, you have been calling into the universe to bring down your mate, your partner that connects with you on a soul level. You guys have been taking time to visualize the woman of your dreams or the man of your dreams, and you guys are, you know, just thinking about the things that you want out of love and relationships and how you would want your partner to be, but I really feel like some of you guys have been calling in your soulmate subconsciously and not even realizing that you're doing so. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Um, you guys have been calling in your soulmate and not even realizing that you've been doing so. And so I feel like just with this breath that I just got that some of my Aquariuses have been a little overwhelmed when it comes to their love life and things are not, uh, you know, with things not going exactly how they want to go. Or maybe you might feel like you would never meet that soulmate or that person that, you know, is divinely made for you. I'm um, Aquarius, but I feel like you have met somebody recently. So you have been dating for my single Aquarius has been dating. Um, you definitely, or it could be my, my partner, of course, is you definitely have been in, um, a situation where as though, oh, you know, a, a involvement with, when a, within a partner that you have been feeling romantic feelings about. Um, you have met somebody or you currently have somebody around you that possibly, I feel like this can be your soulmate. Or you are trying to ask the universe, is this the right partner for you? But you know that you feel feelings with them. You know that you feel a warming sensation. You have romantic feelings about for them or they have romantic feelings about you. But you're not too sure, Aquarius. You're not too sure if this partner is the partner that is your true soulmate or the partner you should be with as your life partner. Um, I do feel like you have... Um, my Aquariuses have been trying to take control over situations when it comes to love matters just because you might be afraid um, of getting hurt or just putting a whole bunch of energy into something and not knowing for sure if this is your soulmate or if it's worth it. Because I do see the extra card that came out as this could be the one. So you definitely have been having doubts about the person that you already have met and to know if they the right one for you or not. But you definitely met the partner that you already seek. The romantic partner that you already seek is here. And that's why I think the romantic feelings is coming up and you're reading. But you are definitely dealing with control issues because I feel like some of my Aquariuses are possibly being immature when it comes to expressing their feelings or how they react or how they, you know, work within love matters and so or maybe you might just want to have control because the Aquarius is you guys do like to be in control and dominant when it comes to partnerships. Um, yeah, Aquarius, it's like you guys like to be in control when it comes to partnerships. But I really feel like with this situation, you're taking on too much control. And it's asking you, like the universe is asking you to allow the situation to unfold naturally. Like if you are interested in somebody, you need to naturally, you know, let things fold out, let things play out. Um... I'm pretty sure the feeling's mutual, and if it was divine, and if it was meant to be, the things would work itself out naturally. But with that being said, just trying to let go of control issues when it comes to your love life, so that things can come in more smoothly for you. Um, but this person that's around you definitely can be the one. One second. Now, I do feel like for some of my Aquariuses that's been in relationships, or that's actually coupled and partner, it can go for my singles too, but I really feel like this is in my... My uh, singles and my couples. I'm just going to say my singles and my couples. But mostly couples. I feel like some of my Aquarius is you guys have been dealing with financial hardships within your love life. Within your relationship. Um, Mine can be within the work sector, your career, whatever you do for work and career. It has been affecting your love life because maybe finances are tight. Maybe you had a pay cut or maybe you lost a job recently. Or, you know, you had to take some hours away due to some type of injury. Maybe you got hurt on a job. Who knows? What I'm saying is that basically... The finances and careers um, is definitely playing a major part in your love life for May 2018. And it could be from your partner. Maybe your partner has been having difficulties with finding a, a career of their choice or, um, you know, keeping the finances intact within the house, the home um, front when it comes to partners. If you've been dealing with a person, um, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Um, I see earth, I see water. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, earth, I see uh, Taurus, Virgo. 
Capricorn and fire. I do see all elements, really. So it could be any partner that you're dealing with. But I feel like for my Aquarius, maybe it could be a partner of yours that don't have it financially. And so that's been causing financial issues because you're looking for somebody who can kind of go 50-50 with you. You know, kind of go Dutch when it comes to bills and finances in the home front. But I do also see for my single Aquarius that this is you guys. That maybe you feel like you can't fully give yourself to this relationship because your finances and career are not what they need to be. Or maybe you're still codependent on somebody financially and so you can't release that person in order to get this new soulmate or in order to call in this new soulmate or this person that you met um i feel like with this new person that you met from my a single aquarius that's been out here dating and meeting new people and mingling it's time for you definitely whoever you have met i know you have romantic feelings about them you're not too sure if this could be the one but what i'm telling you is that it's time for you to get to know this person and reveal your innermost self it's time for you to let your guard down stop putting on a superficial uh, stigma about yourself or stop trying to make yourself seem like you so you know like everything is so well put together we all go through things we all have ups and downs in life and it's really important for you Aquarius this time around that if you are going to get in a relationship as a single Aquarius to reveal your most vulnerable self we know that Aquarius is going to have like a tough skin on the outside or kind of be they don't want to be vulnerable to certain people you know because they want to be maintain this alpha energy but with that being said as you reveal your innermost self to this person then you guys bond deeper. So it's like the bond thickens and the bond deeper is the more you reveal yourself to this person. There's no need to hold back because the more you withhold back, Aquarius, the more that person will feel kind of not slighted, but, um, you know, a little wary about you. And if they want to offer you their cup. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify some issues that's going on. I love these cards. These cards are powerful. These are my divination cards. Um, their meditation cards. I mean, I don't know if you want to call them tarot. They do have some of the uh, major corners in here that's related to the tarot deck, the wife deck, but it's not the same meaning behind it. But these cards are amazing when it comes to clarification and, you know, just getting some type of inside knowledge. So let's get into it for my Aquarius with these clarifiers. Call in your soulmate. What can Aquarius do, Universal Spirit, to call in a soulmate? What lessons... Or what can Aquarius, the sun, moon, rising, and Venus do to call in a soulmate for the May, March? I'm sorry, the month of May. Wow. Okay, so two cards popped out. And I'm going to be reading from these decks because this deck is fairly new to me. But I do understand what it's saying. Like, intuitively, I can tell you, you just got earth and water. For calling your soulmate, so you definitely might have some earth energy around you. Some of my, uh, some of my uh, Aquariuses are dealing with earth signs, like I said before, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, or you could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. And I feel like some of you guys might feel like one of these two signs can be your soulmate. Maybe you're trying to call your soulmate back to you. Maybe possibly a water sign or earth sign. But I also feel like it's also telling you to stay grounded with your emotions and also. Um, just be a little bit more vulnerable in order to to call in your soulmate. Be a little bit more open about your emotions and communication, you know. But let's get into it. So, letting go of control issues. Wow. These cards just popped out. Focus and truth. But letting go of control issues. And let me get one more thing. For finances and career. Aquarius is summer rising in Venus for the month of May 2018. Universal Spirit Creator, can we clarify finances and career for my Aquarius and Sun Moon Rising and Venus? What is the finances and career card here for? Okay, New Moon in the air. That's your energy, air. Okay. So let's get into it with the water for calling your soulmate. I'm just going to go ahead and clarify what these mean so you guys can get into my new cards and get this new energy going up. Okay, so for water, it's emotions, like I said. Emotions being receptive, bodies of water, going with the flow. In order for you to call on your soulmate, I really feel like the universe is telling you with the water. These cards are so beautiful. To go with the flow, Aquarius. Just go with the flow of life. Be receptive to emotions. Be receptive to giving and sharing your emotions as well. And be like a body of water. Drawing this card is a symbol of connecting to your emotions regarding your question or situation. Allow yourself to be open to any changes of direction and let the element of water guide you in the right direction. So, Aquarius, you need to let the element of water guide you. 
And it's funny because it says let go of control issues right after that. So you need to let the element of water guide you on the path that you need to go towards. Um, you guys need to keep the emotions pure. It will assist you within what you're trying to do as far as calling in the soulmate. If you keep your emotions pure, your soulmate can be called in. If you remain fluid and receptive and go with the flow, you can you can bring it in. But you definitely need to connect to your emotional self. And I know, of course, this is hard for y'all to really express yourself emotionally, you know, because y'all like to keep things hidden and keep this persona like everything's okay. But it's okay to release and be open because that's how you call in your true soulmate. Um, you have earth. I told you, I feel like this is, you guys need to be grounded too with your emotions, but this symbol is basically earth is a tan. It says earth. What a tangible, what is tangible in the physical body? Be kind to this temple of physical body. That is the home of your soul. It requires adequate nutrition and rest. Okay. So also it's like, you need a rest period. Aquarius. We know you've been working hard and moving around a lot. I feel like some of y'all been out here working out, going around, moving out a lot or working too much. And this could be like within your personal life and it could be affecting your, you calling your soulmate. It's like, in order for you to call your soulmate, you need to ground yourself. You need to ground your physical body. Maybe in order for you to call your soulmate, maybe you need to change the way you diet or change out your working habits. For some of my queries, I see some of you guys, no offense, but some of you guys are overweight. And so you want to call in the soulmate, but the soulmate wants you to be healthier when it comes to, you know, love and relationships and lifestyle i feel like some of my courses not for all but what i'm getting intuitively is that you have met a partner and this partner is more into fitness than you and so you know then you need to change your lifestyle and it's going to cause the, it, when you change your lifestyle as far as like your health and your wealth because that is your wealth your health is your wealth and when you change your lifestyle it's going to bring in more things it's going to call in your soulmate you know, she's going to he or she's going to be able to come in and help you maintain this healthy new path that you're on, this new journey to love, new fitness, new health. But it's definitely time to take care of your body and not overstress yourself when it comes to love and relationships, because sometimes we can over worry ourselves when we're not getting certain things, you know, certain things that's not moving fast enough for us, so to speak. You know, it can overwhelm our body. We can kind of be up all night, not getting no rest, up thinking about stuff. But I really feel like Aquarius is, in order to call in your soul, man, you definitely need to take care of your body, your soul first. And definitely, you know, be more receptive to emotions and be more fluid and let things flow naturally. You do have let go control issues and you need to let things flow naturally. So it's funny how spirit is compromised. Well, confirming what I said. Um, you have what's coming into what you can do to let go control control issues and let things flow naturally is truth you got the truth card with the feather be light as a feather with your truth be light be polite and be light but be truthful and be honest and don't be so harsh and brass about certain things that you want you know let things unfold naturally let that person show you if they have the things that you want don't be so demanding of what you want you understand and then you have focus so it's time to focus on letting go of control issues and speaking your truth still, but letting go of control issues and things that you can't control. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, let me go ahead and clarify truth and let's see what what uh what messages we have behind these cards. But I'm telling you, these cards resonate with me so much. It's like I don't even really need to do this, but I want to give you guys some further information for clarify. So with the truth card, it's like it says it's a great truth will come a great truth will come to light. A secret will be revealed. So this is like the secret card. Your feelings regarding the situation you're asking about are true. Stand by your personal truth, no matter what, and you'll be rewarded. So it's time for you to have clarity, focus, and be truthful about how you feel within a situation. You know, things that you might feel like, you know, you might feel like even this person is controlling towards you, Aquarius, or you might be controlling towards them, but it might be reasons why you are being controlling in the situation. And if you can tell that person your truth so they can understand why you do the things you do or why you have been controlling, maybe because you've been hurt in the past before, or you have separation anxiety, or maybe you've been coming out of codependency relationship and you're still trying to get out of, you know, those type of characteristics within your next relationship, it's time for you to be truthful about those things. And also, so it can be a secret that you might find out about your partner that's going to actually allow you to let go of control issues and maybe fall back a little bit and focus on yourself and focus on just letting things flow naturally. But I really feel like it's time for you to stand by your personal truth no matter what or how it sounds or how it feels and just keep the focus, you know. And um, with that being said, the focus is like it's time to direct 
to direct and to be direct and very clear with your intentions. If you have been feeling scattered right now, it's time to hone in and harvest your desires. Think about what you what do you want to do and not what you don't want. Watch your thoughts because you are drawn into your life what you're focusing on. Meditate on this call when you want clarity and directness and thought and speech. So it's time for you to be direct with your thought and speech. Have clarity. Stop leading people on when it comes to relationships or stop allowing other people to lead you on Aquarius. It's for my female and my males. Stop allowing people to walk over top of you. If you know what you want, make sure your intentions are pure. Make sure your intentions are truthful. And make sure you have focused intent on what you're coming in this relationship for or what you want out of this relationship. But do it with grace and make sure you're not controlling as you're doing it. But you're just being open and honest with, you know, with fluid energy, with fluid emotions. Like, not too stuck up, not too tight. You understand? Like, it's time for you just to be really, really clear because you might be feeling scattered right now about what you want to do as far as relationships and love and who you should be with, what partner you should go with. But I really feel like it's just time for you to just be open and honest about everything. Because this can be the one. You already met the partner that you see. And I really feel like with the finances and career affecting your love life, there could be another thing that's been making you feel scattered on if you want to offer this new emotional cup because you've been dealing with emotional uh, situations you've been dealing with situations when it comes to career and finances has been draining you as well for some of the other Aquariuses that's couple could be draining your marriage it could have been draining um you know things if you were partner or married for my Aquariuses it could be draining your marriage because finances have been up and down been rocky but with the new moon card this is a beautiful card oh, I love the energy on here and the imagery with the new moon card we did have a new moon in Scorpio a couple weeks ago but with the new moon card, Aquarius, it's time for, I feel like it's time for a new cycle. A new cycle will begin. A new cycle will change. And career and finances, I don't feel like you have anything to really worry about because you also have air coming in. This is your element. So maybe you're going to be working within your element, using your element, using your logic, your uh, communication to make, you know, make sure things are met when it comes to career and finances and talking things out or, you know, getting a new job that you want to manifest in that. Um, maybe you could be partnering with somebody new and they're going to help you bring this new cycle into finances and career within your love life. But with the new moon, it means it's a new beginning to career. It's a new beginning to finances. It's a fresh start. It's an auspicious time to start new projects. Meditate on this new moon to bring you new energy into your life. Write a list of intentions, dreams, goals, and wishes to support your new direction. So if you have a career that you're in, but you're not quite satisfied with this, and it's been affecting your relationships because you might been doing this for so long and it's not been panning out correctly, or maybe some, you know, vice versa, your partner has been doing some things when it comes to career and it's been causing issues in your relationship because maybe her career, he or she career is not where it needs to be. If Regardless of what it's about. It's new cycles. It's time to begin something new. So with my Aquarius, I really feel like you guys are going to be starting even a new job. You could be starting a new project. Um, you could be doing something new. Maybe you may just got a new gig, a new opportunity. It depends on if you're in the entertainment business. Um, if you have a blue-collar job, white-collar job, it doesn't matter what you do. I just feel like it's new beginnings going to be happening for you. New cycles are going to be happening. And you're going to have a new fresh start to... Um, projects and working on new things that you actually want to do is really time is a critical time right now with this new moon card to work in your element with air and write down you know what you want to accomplish as far as your goals your dreams um your visions and your wishes so that way you can put intention and focus into it as well to manifest these things you have the air card coming right in so with that being said air is like Air is telling you to be logical, like I said previously. Use your logic, use your strategy, um, write out and plan out the things that you want to do so you can manifest these things. It's time for you to logically think and be reason and reasoning um, with yourself. So it says logical thinking and reasoning are required at this time. You may also need to information, more information before proceeding along. Call on this element of air to help you find your healthy resolutions. Meditate with this symbol to call on more of the air element in your life. Enhance logical thought and inspire new ideas. Use instant and in letter writings to enhance the power of this element. So this is the symbol of alchemistry. So you are the alchemist. And most of the time, Aquarius, you come up as the magician and the zodiac. I mean, in the tarot scope, in the tarot card deck. You come up as the magician. So you do have all elements you need to manifest whatever you want. All you need is the right intentions behind that. 
And you need to put your logic behind that as well. And then you can manifest whatever you want to do. But you need to be focused and, you know, have intention when it comes to this. You need to write down your dreams and your goals so things can get manifested. And I feel like these are some of the things that have been blocking you from your love life. Because you, you want love, you do want to bring it in, but at the same time, you don't need to be a change, a new cycle towards career finances so you can have a partner that you can actually take care of and actually, you know, have a better life for them or better life for you, for each other, you know, maintain a better life for this new person that's coming in or the soulmate that you want. You want to have that home, that home life, you know, family, happy home, happy wife, happy life, vice versa, but you know that career finances have been draining you or have been having you feeling like boggle lately. So it's just time for you to reason yourself and just really think logical and strategize um, on how you're going to plan things out. Um, you're going to find a healthy solution to the situation because you do have the new moon card right behind it. So new cycles are happening for you, Aquarius. But it's all about patience and focus and, you know, focusing with your attentions and being direct with that. But... Yeah, so if you would like more personal reading, you would like to know uh, more information about what's going on for you for the month of May when it comes to love, uh, career, finances, be sure to email me and I'll get right back to you as soon as possible. Um, I can do a quick reading. Please check out my rates. My rates, I have changed them to make them more affordable for people. And also, if you'd like to reach me, you can contact me via my email. I'll send that information. Um, I'll have that in the description box below. You may also reach me on Instagram. Um, from all my iPhone users at Terror by Scorpius. So that's all I really have for you guys. I really, really wish you the best of luck in May, in love, career, whatever things that's going on in your personal life. Um, and that's all I have for you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to my new channel. I really appreciate the comments, the readerships. Once again, I love you guys. And I'll be coming back to do Gemini next. So giving you guys some good energy, love, and light. And I'll see you guys in the month of June.